Hi guys, it's Ben here after Liverpool have just beaten Maribor at home by three goals to nil in the Champions League. Probably the most predictable scoreline outcome, um, set of goal scorers, and this is probably going to be the most predictable video that I've ever made. This was just routine, it was just a, pretty much a carbon copy of, of Saturday, um, a frustrating slow first half, we're probably a bit bored, but in the back of my mind I always knew we were going to win the game, it was never in doubt. I mean, I was actually quite impressed with how Maribor defended at times, and they even played some nice triangles, some nice passes, and actually troubled us once or twice. They were much better off than they were at, at, at their place, but look, we, we it, there was no excuses for, for this. We, we had to just absolutely outplay them, which we did. We dominated the ball in the first half without breaking them down, but as I say, we were always going to make a breakthrough, and it came very early in the second half, and once that came, you knew it was going to be 3 or 4 nil, something like that. It took a while to get the third, Daniel Sturridge. But look, got to be happy with that, got to be happy with getting another clean sheet at home. Um, this is such a predictable video, it really is. I mean, I was saying to my mate earlier on, you, you, I can make this video in the morning and just release it now because it's, we know what's going to happen. And it's a good thing that Liverpool actually went out there and did the job. We, we actually went out there, we didn't act like idiots, we didn't do anything stupid. Uh, I know Matt had made a couple of mistakes at the back, he got skinned once or twice, which wasn't convincing from him. Um, I know he's a popular Liverpool centre-back, but look, <laughs> he's got to start getting skinned by, by, by players in, in his own area, uh, twice in the space of a minute. Um, but outside that, no real concerns, Karras didn't do anything stupid, it was just a nice routine, pretty mundane really, um, game of football, I mean the, the, the most exciting bit was, was Chan's goal, lovely one too, and the, 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 the touch from Milner is just sensational, and he's, he's probably a shoe in to play on Saturday now that obviously the only real negative from this game is Wijnaldum's injury, so I imagine we're going to see Henderson, Chan, Milner. Uh, midfield against West Ham on Saturday, which is of course now the big focus, the big game, uh, the game which is pretty much going to define wh whether it defines our, our our season. I don't know. I mean, the points total we have after that game, going into the international break, is going to define our mood for the next two weeks, and it's going to define the players' mood, Klopp's mood, everyone's mentality. People start thinking about January, whether we need to make any signings. So. It's a big game, and then we get Southampton and Chelsea at home after that, so an opportunity to pick up some points at Anfield, uh, albeit against sides that haven't necessarily been easy ones to beat as of late. So, I'm very happy. Look, it is what it is. It's, it's not a surprise. We didn't really learn an awful lot. Oxlade Chairman obviously got his start, um, something he hasn't been, been uh, given too many times at Liverpool. I think that's only his second start in a red shirt, and he did okay. He did okay. I mean, it wasn't, uh, he wasn't one of the standout performers, but. He was keen, obviously, very keen to impress. He was very lively. Um, wasteful once or twice with his crosses into the box that were quite aimless, but that was probably the story of our, our, our night for 45 minutes or so. We were very frustrated and we were doing stupid things, making silly fouls. Just the sort of things that one or two players are always prone to doing if they're frustrated and they're sort of the players that are looking to make things happen. I think Salah made one or two fouls, Chan made one or two fouls. They just, just got to be a bit more patient. Eventually, we, we were just about patient enough and it paid off. Um, so let's get into player ratings. I mean, it's a very difficult game to rate players on. It's a, similar to sort of Saturday in that regard. Maribor probably gave us more problems than Huddersfield. I mean, they're not as good a side, but go, coming forward, they actually gave us more problems than, than Huddersfield. Uh, Karras makes one good save low down to his right. I think he gets a good hand on, on, on a cross at one point. Um, look, I'll give him a 7 out of 10. Uh, all the defenders pretty much going to get a similar rating. Uh, Trent, Trent was pretty good going forward. He can have a seven as well. Matip gets skinned. He can have a six. Uh, Clavin, seven. Moreno, seven. That's a, an unbelievable first touch to bring down a long ball that came over his head at one point, Moreno. But um, he was pretty good. Um, into midfield, obviously, Van Adam goes off early, so Henderson comes on. And I thought he was very good. Uh, <laughs> I say very good. He, he, he was what he was. He was Jordan Henderson. He's a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of forward passes, which he. Some people seem to not don't think he does. Um, but it was a lot of quick forward uh, setting a tempo. So just typical Jordan Henderson. Seven for him. Chan a bit too eager at times. Um, kind of a bit rash. He's running around like a like a headless chicken at times. But gets a great goal. Um, you know, seven out of ten for him. Milner seven. I love I love the guy. I really do. Uh, Salah man of the match. Get, opens the uh, opens the uh, the scoring. Breaks a deadlock. Um, and in the, even in the first half, he was the one most most likely to strike. Uh, one or two missed chances, not sitters, but he might have felt he could have done a bit better. Though. But he was the best player on the pitch, 8 out of 10. He's been our best player in the Champions League this season too. Uh, Oxley chamberlain you know, I'll give him a 7. Why not? Uh, Firmino couldn't actually really get into it, uh, which was a shame. I mean, he, he wins the penalty absolutely majestically. So, I mean, for that alone, he can probably have a 7. 
Um, Milner obviously missed the penalty, so that leaves us with a bit of a dilemma going into the next time we win a penalty. We've missed four penalties at Anfield this season, uh, this year rather, uh, this calendar year, so that's obviously a, a concern. Um, but look, tonight has gone completely as planned. One win away now from uh, progressing into the last 16 of the Champions League, which is all we could ask for. It's an easy group, we should get through, and it looks like we're going to. So, uh, not not getting complacent, but pleased with eight points in four games, and uh, bring on Saturday. That's all I really care about now. Going into London Stadium and getting a win. Something we did last year when the pressure was on, we or that season, we've got to do it this year as well. Um, a lot of injuries: Vinaldum, Coutinho, Lallana, Klein, Lovren. Probably it's not ideal. But uh, West Ham have got a lot of injuries too at the back, so we'll do a full preview for that later on in the week. Uh, until then, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for all this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share a video, share the video for me, and follow my other socials too. It's been my say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. See you next time.